Hey everybody, I'd like to officially announce the commencement of hashtag MS coin swap. So this is an idea that I discussed amongst a few members of the community and I've decided to go ahead and go through with it. So the idea is similar to a secret Santa. The difference here is I would be facilitating everything and it would be through the US Postal Service. So the idea with this is that anybody that wanted to participate would send me an item and at the end of the deadline I would do a massive unboxing and I would give everybody credit to, for what they sent in and then I would essentially mix and match content that people sent me or items that people sent me and I would return different items to everyone that sent something in so if you participate and you send me an item you will receive an item back so that item is I would limit it to probably a max of $20 average retail value so it can be an ounce of silver or you know a wheat penny it doesn't really matter there's no limit to what you can send in but the idea is simple take an envelope put whatever you want in it for instance this prospector drop it in the envelope address it to me my address will be listed in the description below drop it in the mail I'll receive it and I ask that you write your channel name so that way I know who to give credit to and then I will do a unboxing video and I will open up the contents I will not give out anybody else's personal information that's why I'm requesting on the back side of the envelope you write your channel name so that way I can show everybody hey this is from whoever and then I'll open it cool they are providing a one ounce prospect around awesome or they're providing a roll of wheat pennies or a bicentennial proof set whatever you provide for the giveaway does not necessarily mean that you will receive something of equal value I just want to be as transparent as possible with everybody because it is a random giveaway if I have 10 people that send in a single wheat penny that's worth three cents they may receive a peace dollar for instance it's really luck of the draw so with that I would I would hope that everyone would would send something that they would be happy to receive and it's not just a opportunity for them to get free whatever you don't have to do this but another recommendation I'm gonna start the uh, MS coin swap hashtag on Twitter and YouTube and if you are gonna send something to me oh and Instagram also so if you wanna send something to me if you wanted to snap a picture of what you're sending in and include the hashtag MS coin swap that way we can get a bit of a pool and understanding of what everyone is sending in I will be uh, providing a few items in addition to uh, what everyone else is going to be sending in so one of which is a roll of wheat pennies I got some uh, mint sets this one's 40% silver 1968 the other one is from 1971 I'll provide a uh, 1951 slabbed Washington Quarter. It's got some pretty neat toning on it. Certified by PCGS. And I'll also provide the uh, Bicentennial 1976 proof set. Uh, I have a few other items that I will be including that I'd like to remain a secret. So that way there's a sense of excitement when people do their when they open up their mail so one of the ideas that was 
of topic of discussion was how am I going to get everything back to you guys? And one idea was a self-addressed stamped envelope. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to do that. I've decided that I will bear 100% of the cost on return shipping. The reason for that is if I ask you to provide a self-addressed stamped envelope, if you are the recipient of something more than a single coin, your postage and envelope are worthless. You can't put a roll of pennies in a single envelope. You need something a little more substantial, like a padded envelope and pay, you know, the two dollars and something cents for first class shipping. So I've decided that that will be my gift to you guys. I will pay all return cost. If you feel that you are in the, uh, the giving mood, I will leave my PayPal information in the description below. If you want to chip in a dollar or two just to help with the postage, I will be grateful for it. I'm not asking you to. So it would be 100% your choice if you choose to make a donation to help with postage. If not, that's cool too. I'm, I'm prepared to bear the cost 100%. So everybody that sends something to me will receive something back. That's the bottom line. Okay. Um, let's see. Got a few notes I wanted to cover. Make sure I'm covering everything. Uh, if you have some content, if you wanted to do an unboxing video, that would be awesome. But it, it's your call. Uh, Caitlin, did I cover everything? Um, when you receive something, please be, be sure to uh, use the hashtag and, and submit a, a picture to social media, even if you're someone who does not have a channel somewhere. Yep. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, one thing that I wanted to be clear on with you guys, I got called in for a business trip. I leave next weekend. I'm going to San Francisco for three weeks. So Caitlin will remain here. She said that she will check the P.O. box, bring everything home, and provide update videos just to let everybody know that the, the packages are, are getting received by us. And once I get back, I think I will give myself a couple of days just to readjust to everything at the, the home life and whatnot. So I think I'm going to set the, the deadline on... Where's your phone? Where's my calendar? March 24th or 31st. Those are the two Sundays. Yeah, so right now we're going to leave it open the 24th of March or the 31st. Mm -hmm. So those are the two options that I will, yeah, 24th of March and 31st of March. I like to do it on a Sunday just because generally Sunday is our day of rest. We go to church and we just, we spend time as a family and we don't really schedule anything on Sundays for that reason. So let's do the 24th as the tentative unboxing, show everybody what is available for this coin swap. And then that way we have everything returned back to senders by the first, hopefully. Yep. And then just in case I get delayed on my business trip, we'll do it for the following Sunday on that 31st. So I would recommend if you did want to send something in, send it in at least a week prior to that. So that way it'll have time to process through the postal service and, and get here appropriately. Okay. Uh, if you got any questions, my email is also listed down below. Uh, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Have a great night.